right, you two, first thing first. Got a little bees up. Today, we're gonna be changing all four shocks. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, YouTube, so today is a good day to change out these uh, shocks. I had to lower my airbags to probably try to get up in here, but I might have to use a pry bar to get it out. I mean, a breaker bar. But I'm able to get to this one. We got a Milwaukee, um, half inch. This right here is a one. airbags in a way and they got hold the other side with this side so how you gonna do both shop now there's one of my shops over here in Miami get things done here when I can't fix something um, all my shops had um, we couldn't get those things off they try to do the same thing here and um, we may have to torch them off none of them broke loose none of them I got this one off earlier this one right here For these 200,000 mile shocks I got uh, from Rainey's, for 200,000 mile warranty they say, but most likely they'll go only um, 80 to 100,000 miles. I usually use Monroe. I like using Monroe shocks. I want to get these Bulldog HD try to get them a chance. Um, when I was using the, the Monroe, they usually go about 75,000 miles and they start leaking. And um, 
they has got a 200,000 mile warranty at Rainey's. So I said, you know, let me just get these to try. I got a part number here if anybody interested. Part number four. Professional grade, heavy duty, soccer clubs, bulldog. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get these to try. We gotta torch them off right now, so. You know, you can have an expensive drill, but if them bolts seize up from that rust, it's a wrap, man. My hand gonna come off. <laughs> I tried with a breaker ball. I tried with a half inch Milwaukee. They would not break loose. Even with a breaker ball, they still wouldn't come loose. Let's try again.
torch.
job or nothing, but um, if I can, I'm gonna need to put on this anti-seize lubricant. So this will never happen again. Anytime I had to take off shocks, I always put on anti-seize. Cause they do just like that. I don't think these shocks never been um, been changed before by JB Hunt. But then all four to be torched off like that. I don't think it ever been changed. I'm gonna ask him, can I put this um, anti-seize before, before you put on these shocks? I'm glad that never happened again, man. That's crazy. So far we got one on. Good dog. We had to go get new um new bolts. Then put the anti-seeds on it. And, um, save it for next time. New nuts and new bolts here. Just tighten these up top and bottom. These are how boats supposed to look. Come off easier. So that's why we put the anti-seeds on bro. I know they'll come off right when they need to. Just leave it now. This is a shop I always been going to from a long time ago, about five years ago. Anything I needed done that I knew it was probably gonna be a high price for, I swear gonna buy here if, if I'm in Miami. Now something like that, all four uh, boats had to be cut off. Man, the TA, TA or uh, Speedco, Love, man, they were charged probably about either from a thousand or two thousand dollars to, to, to torch them boats off. They ain't gonna have no high power torch like that. And they ain't gonna have that experience like that. But I'm glad I got it done before I got on, on the road. Cause I had a feeling if I couldn't do it, I knew I would have to take it to a shop down here where I know somebody that can really do it. Man, look at this pothole. But anyway, I'm glad I got it done. And guess how much it was? $250. Yeah. To change all shocks. $250. Just because I'm a paying customer and I know them. But anyway, I'm glad I did that. Something told me, was telling me to change these shocks before I get back on the road or um, I'm gonna have to get it changed on the road cause I'm gonna start seeing some wear and tearing of tires. So I'm glad I went with that first gut feeling and went on ahead and changed it. Try to save them tires. But anyway, that's one job done. We got it done. We forgot to cut one right here. There we go. On, on out of there. All right. Now, 
Now we're good. I was dragging that. <laughs> yeah. Every truck I had, or not that many, but um, any truck I had, I always was able to change my own shocks. This was the first time <laughs> I felt like I failed. Uh, I knew it was gonna be a problem when I seen how, how rusty the shocks and everything was. I knew that was gonna be a problem getting out the shocks. I didn't even wanna attempt to change them because I kinda knew that would happen, but I knew it would probably be a big price on it. Um, I don't think JB Hunt ever changed these shocks. This is four years of, um, it's a 2019, so they had this since it was, uh, yeah, about four years ago. So it was 24 now, so it's the fifth year. And I don't think these shocks was ever, ever changed. So I was kind of wondering about that. But other than that, um, pretty good to go now um i just w wanted to get that done before i hit the road but other than that we're gonna see what happened next we will see what happened next i am still starting this month so i'm just getting ready right now as we speak um i see a lot of snowstorms still out there but i'm getting ready to go as you can see right now all right y'all I'll holler.